everybody, the new year. Uh, today I got a little bit of an upper body surgery for you. Um, what she will need for this is just an open space. Um, and then for one of the exercises, you'll need something that you're able to lift up or carry that's relatively heavy for you, okay? So uh, check it out, watch the video, try it out yourself, and enjoy it. Some of the different muscles that we're going to be working today, uh, kind of the main muscle groups at least, are going to be our chest muscles, or what we call our pecs, our shoulders, and we're going to work a little back, okay? And then we'll finish off with something a little bit more cardio-based. First one that we're going to do is called a push back. So it's similar to a push up, however, it involves a little bit of a different motion. So it's from a push up position. And I'm going to take my feet off the mat here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go down into the bottom part of a push up. And instead of pushing straight up, you're going to see me push back. So it kind of looks like this. So I go back into my knee bent, and then I come back up. Bent, back up. I want you to try 10 reps of that, all right? And then you'll move right away into the next exercise. The next exercise will be where you need something to hold on to that's relatively heavy. It could be a weight that you have at home. Could honestly be something like a jug of milk. Something that gives you a little bit of weight or a little bit of resistance. What we're gonna do is do a bent, one arm row. So a row is pulling our elbow in and this actually works our back muscles. So from our front view here, I'm gonna go one arm, I'm hinging at my hips, kind of sticking my butt back and I'm keeping my back flat. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my elbow in, squeeze for a second and back down. I'm gonna go 10 reps on one side. And when I finish those 10 reps on one side, I'm gonna go from the other side. Now I'll show you what that looks like in our side view. So we're here, hinge at the hips, my back is flat, my chin is neutral, I'm here. Squeeze, you should squeeze that back a little bit, especially if you have a little bit of a lighter weight. And again, you're gonna go 10 reps per side, moving on to the next exercise right after that. The next exercise is down again on the ground. Um, this one is what we call thread the needle, so it's kind of a plank variation. So yeah, we are working through our chest and our shoulders, but we're also going to be working a little bit of core on this one. So we're going to be on a plank from our hands, all right, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to thread the needle, so our opposite arm is going to go underneath our other arm. So it's going to look like this. I'm up, and then I'm going to go up and thread the needle. Up, thread the needle. I'm kind of twisting my core, and here. I'll go 10 reps on one side, I'll take a quick rest, and then I'll go 10 reps on the other side like this. Showing you some different exercises today. So right after you're done threading the needle, again taking a couple seconds rest, and then moving in to this next exercise. This next one is called a pipe push-up. So it's another variation of a push-up. What it is, is we're actually kind of on our toes and our butt's actually going to be really high in the air. So this works more of our shoulders. So I'm here in a push-up position and then I'm going to go high and I'm going to bring my arms in a little bit and I'm trying to bring my head to the ground. Again, I'm going to do 10 reps of that one. All right. If any of you are interested in learning how to do a handstand push-up, this would be one of the first steps that you do in order to be able to do that. So uh, this is called a pike push-up again. You're gonna go 10 reps, uh, and then you're gonna move right into that next exercise. To finish up the circuit today, uh, what we're gonna finish with is some jumping jacks, okay? So our shoulders and our chest and maybe a rack a little bit will be fatigued at this point, okay? So this one's gonna kind of burn it out because we still have that upper body movement. So remember, for a jumping jack, as our legs go out, our hands go up. So I'm here, we're gonna go 30 seconds. If you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, do longer, you can go to a minute, you can go two minutes, up to you. After you're finished these jumping jacks, okay, reminder that that's the finish of our circuit. All right, so you're gonna take a minute rest and then you're gonna repeat the circuit, okay? So you're gonna repeat this same circuit. Because we worked our upper body today a little bit, remember to stretch, right? Try and open up that back. If you have a doorway, try and 
bring your arms back so that it opens up our chest a little bit and that should make us feel a little bit better after a workout. Um, remember to drink lots of water during, especially during your rest times and then making sure you're refueling your body throughout the day. So putting in uh, good proteins, carbohydrates and our fats, okay? Um, and making sure we have a balance.